come on a nature run with me. I've really been enjoying botanizing lately. The more I look, the more I realize that there is so much to see around us. Even the leaf litter on the ground forms a beautiful collage. This white sage is actually not native to the Sierra Nevada, but our landlord really likes it so there's a ton around here. I've mostly been working with wildlife recently and it's been a long time since I've studied plants specifically. Going on these nature runs has been quite eye-opening and has reinvigorated my interest in botany. It's also taught me that there is so much to learn. This is a gorgeous white leaf manzanita. I love the texture of the peeling bark. The bark peels as a natural defense mechanism to protect against pests and fungi. This is bristly haircat moss. It can occur in suitable habitats on all continents, even Antarctica. Recently, I've been so enchanted by the beautiful moss species around our neighborhood. This is Grimian dry rock moss. To me, it looks like a magical fairy wonderland. This is turkey mullen, also known as doveweed. It's native to California and provides food for doves and wild turkeys. In between all of this botanizing, I did actually run a bit. This western redbud is probably my favorite tree right now. It is a deciduous tree, which means it sheds its leaves annually to conserve water and energy during the winter. Western redbuds are found in the foothills and mountains of California. I love how pretty its leaves looked in the morning light. As I've practiced being more intentional with naturalizing, I've realized that there is so much that I was missing out on before. Naturalizing has felt like an act of mindfulness and a way to ground myself when I'm feeling anxious or unsettled. I stopped underneath a giant oak tree to appreciate these gorgeous acorns. Looking up at the massive oak tree that produced them, I'm reminded of how even the most grand of life's journeys begin with the smallest step. It reminds me that with time, attention, and care, we can nourish the parts of ourselves that we wish to grow. What can you find in your neighborhood? Let us know in the comments.